Hello Floppy Catters, today we're doing the final product review video for the Zeewee Peak a New Zealand Rabbit and Lamb recipe. Zeewee Peak is a cat food company out of New Zealand and this um, all of their cat food I believe does not contain chicken which if you have a, a cat and I'm not sure about their dog food but you might look into that as well um, that's allergic to chicken this is a great uh, resource. So these are their um, 6.5 ounce cans because they're from New Zealand. They're a little bit um, they're a little bit different uh, because obviously they operate in the kilogram system. And then we were sent these by Chewy.com to review, so not by Zewe Peak, and they were only doing these big cans. I have been feeding my cats Zeewee Peak for uh, on and off their entire lives, but here recently, probably in the last year, more consistently. Uh, my cats like and dislike Zeewee Peak, so it's um, I always get the small can, and we only do one can every now and um, maybe every every other day because sometimes they're not game to eat it. So. I wanted to give you guys an idea of the consistency. A lot of people, a lot of cat owners want to know, you know, if it's a pate, if it's kind of a dry pate, what kind of pate it is. Um, so this gives you an idea. This is not typically how I um, dish out cat food. I usually do it near the sink and, and use a spoon, but I'm having a little bit of an ant problem, which is being taken care of. And I don't want uh, my cat's food right now to be involved in that with ink. Okay, so the first five ingredients in any cat food is kind of the most important. So as you'll see, we got rabbit meat, lamb broth, lamb liver, lamb lung, lamb kidney. Then we go to chickpeas. You see that New Zealand green mussel? That is um, a natural glucosamine chondroitin thing that they put in all of their food, which is pretty cool. And also you'll see that there's no preservatives, no rendered meats or meals, I guess. Um, no wheat, no glycerins, no antibiotics, no fillers, no sugars, no potatoes, no grains, no rice, no soy, no wheat. Uh, you guys can um, read all of that kind of stuff in the about section. I'm gonna put the guaranteed analysis as well as the ingredients um, in the about section of this video and also a link to where you can buy it on Chewy.com, which will also have all of that information. Zewe Peak did recently change their packaging, so it looks a little bit different. And um, as far as the review is concerned, all I can tell you is that this is what it looks like, and my cats eat it now and again. They don't always eat it. Sometimes I have to sprinkle some whole life um, freeze-dried food on top. So I'll go ahead and get that done and show you what I mean. So that's what I mean by sprinkling a little bit of the whole life on top. Um, it usually entices them to start eating and then once they will eat it, or once they eat enough of it, they'll keep eating it. Um, and actually out of my two cats, Charlie is the one that likes the rabbit. Well, I'd say he likes all of the Zooey Peak more than Trig does, um, but Trig is a good eater. Charlie is a poor eater. So it's ironic that my poor eater uh, prefers the good, better quality food. I would prefer to have my cats on this every single day and it be one of the few that we have in rotation because I do feel strongly that it's a good quality food, but I am not a cat nutritionist and anybody that is giving you cat food reviews should be a nutritionist which is ironic because that's exactly what I'm doing right now is doing a cat food review. But it's more of like my review of my interpretation of the food, et cetera. It's not um, really telling you, like I've always thought with um, cat food and with um, litter, stuff like that. I, I told my cats long before we started product reviewing that I wouldn't subject them to um, food and stuff that they didn't like just for the purpose of review. So, um, 
So one of the reasons why I don't think it's fair to review a cat food in four to six weeks is really, you know, you should bring in a cat that's having issues or a healthy cat, do a trial run with, you know, take its blood at the beginning of it, take its blood, you know, six months, a year into the whole thing, and then really review the product that way. Like how, how did the, if it's a sick cat, did it, the cat's health improve? And there's so many contributing factors as to why a cat's health would go down or go up. So it, it's just a cat food reviews are just kind of next to impossible in my opinion because of the, so many factors. So the only thing that I want to say about a cat food is you know, what the consistency is and do my cats eat it? So lucky for us, both cats decided to participate in this video and eat their food. Look at all the chickies whiskers, so handsome. <laughs> so handsome, chick do. Chick do, chick do, chick do, chick do. All right guys, well, let me know if you have any questions. And I guess another factor that's important is you know, like where is the meat sourced? Where, what are the first five ingredients? Are, is there any wheat? You know, you want to know that kind of stuff, but that certainly is covered on a manufacturer's website or on a pet food review or pet food online type of website. So you can get all that information if you need it. Isn't it funny how he eats like one side of the bowl? Get it, Chiggy. Get it, Chiggy. I did um, withhold food from them for an extra hour or so so that they would be more game to eat and that is one of, you've got to be careful with about withholding food from cats because they're going to get like fatty liver disease I think it's called. Uh, withholding food from cats doesn't always make them more hungry so or, or skipping a meal and stuff like that. So you want to be careful with that but I was taking out my trash and cleaning up a couple things so they were standing around waiting for me, which helped them have more of a, an appetite. You can also play with your cats before it's meal time, so they have more of a hunger appetite for them. I'm just so excited because I know how good this is for them. It's going in your bellies. All right, guys, a link to this is in the About section. Let me know if your cats eat Zeewee Peak and how they like it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and Chiggy's eating out of a Panache Zora bowl. It's there. It's a gray. It's like, I can't remember the color name of it, but it's kind of black, dark gray.